Hello. Let's set up the Gala node on a Contabo VPS. Before we get started, let's look into the Gala node software requirements. In order to host a Gala node, you will need a server that has the following requirements. Four gigabytes of RAM, two computer cores, 60 gigabytes disk space, an 86 by 64 processor, and a stable internet connection. So far, this is the most affordable server that I could find that has all of the Gala node software requirements. With this server from Kentabo, you can get four computer cores, eight gigabytes of RAM, 200 gigabytes of SSD, one snapshot and 32 terabytes traffic. This is more than double the requirements you need to host your Gala node. Also, Pentabo has a very good uptime, so you're really good hosting your Gala Nude on this server. If you like this content, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and if you want to support this channel, use my affiliate link in the description of this video to get to this page that will show you this VPS that you need to follow along. So I'm going to click select right here, and now we need to configure our VPS. So as a disclaimer, this is not financial advice. I am a Web3 specialist, and I'm here to educate you on how to set up your Gala node. Here is a monthly fee of $8.49 and a one-time setup fee of $8.49. So upon your first purchase, you will make this fee two times, but then after that, it's only $8.49 a month. Compared to the server at Vulture, which costs $24 a month, and only supports you with the exact amount of resources you need to host your Gala node. This is a better VPS because you'll more than likely have more uptime with the Contalo VPS. Here's an option to select your term link. You can pay up to one entire year for only $100 and have your Gala node running for an entire year without the worry of whether you have to pay for your Contalo server or not. Here's where you can choose your geolocation of your server. Now it's very important for you to choose a location that is going to make sure your node is being used. So once the network is live for Gala Music and Gala Film, we'll know more about which geolocation is important. The really good thing is that you can monitor and configure your VPS later on to change your location to wherever you want your server to be ready. So the Tablo doesn't have many options here. They have Sydney for $2.90, Asia, Singapore for $3.50. Here's on the West Coast for $1.80. So I think I want to run my Gala note on the West Coast and it'll cost me $1.80 extra a month for that. Here's where you're going to choose your storage type. Do not choose NVMe. It will not work for the Gala node. The Gala node requires disk space or SSD. So you'll need to choose the 200 gigabyte SSD option. If we go back to the Gala name software requirements, we can see that it only requires a 60 gigabytes. So this is enough disk space for your Gala node to run. Now this is where we're going to choose the operating system. On this section, we can actually go to apps and panels and choose a server for the operating system, Linux, Ubuntu, and it will come with Docker installed for free. So if you want to go with this option and skip the step of installing Docker and enabling it, you can do so. I'm going to go with the traditional way of setting up a Gala node, and I'm going to manually install Docker on my own. So I'm going to use the Ubuntu version 20.04 for free. Another good feature of a Contable VPS is you're able to set your own password. So whenever you're logging into a VPS, you have to use the password created by the VPS provider. But with Contabo, you're able to generate your own password for logging into your VPS. So at default, your username will be root, but the password to log into your VPS is going to be set by you. So go ahead and create that password, and then you'll be able to move forward. You don't need any private networking. You don't need uh, extra bandwidth or an extra IP address. And you do not need any of these add-ons. So after that, you can click next and move forward with purchasing this VPS. Once you are finished paying for your Contabo VPS, 
Give Contabo about one hour to send you the VPS details. You'll get your login information for your VPS via email, and you can also log into your Contabo account with the information that you use to create the account right here under the button that says my account. And it will bring you to a control panel where you can monitor your devices. So here we are on my control panel. I'm going to click on the button that says VPS control. And this will take you to a page where you can monitor your VPS. I'm going to block this out in this video because I don't want to share my IP address. But right here in this section is going to be your IP address. This is what you're going to need to log into your Contabo VPS. Here's your default username, which is set at root. Here's your host system, your status. You can use this button to restart your Contabo VPS if that's needed. You can start your VPS with this button. You can stop it with this button. You can enable or disable cloud init with this button. You can reinstall your VPS with this button and you can rescue your system and you can create a snapshot. Here's a manage button where you can upgrade your VPS to higher requirements. Of course, you'll be paying more for that. You can move it to another region. So this is a really good option here because if you find out that you're in the geolocation that's getting the less pings, then you can move it to a geolocation where there's more pings happening. You can order add-ons if you wanted to add on some more space, some more bandwidth, or a different operating system. You can order Windows, which is uh, very expensive. You can send a message that says, I cannot connect to this server. You can reset your password for logging into your VPS, VNC information, VNC password, and disable VNC. So you don't need any of that at right now, right now. This is all you need the way we set the VPS up. So once you have your IP address, then we can get ready to log in to our VPS and set up our Gala node. So here we are on my Gala node dashboard. And as you can see, I have two Gala node license for the music player and both of my nodes are offline. Now I, I recently restarted my VPS so that I can show you how to set up your Gala node on a Contabo VPS. So I'm going to get both of these nodes back online in this video, and I'm going to do some trial and error for you to show you different things and different ways that you can get this done and try to make it as seamless and easiest for you as possible. I think the first thing you would want to do when you're getting ready to set up your Gala node is create your API key. I realize that you need one API key per node that you are running. So if you're running a Gala node with a founders node, a music node, or a film node on one node, then you can use that one API key for that one node. So I'm going to be setting up two nodes today because I have two music player license. So I need two API keys. So let's go to the section that says API key. And all you need to do is click this button that says generate API key. Now. It's very important that you don't share your API key with anyone because they could try to boot your node offline by setting up their node with your API key. So you don't want to create a scenario like that. So just avoid sharing your API key with anyone. But I want to give you a tip. When you set up your Gala nodes, if you look at my dashboard, I have Gala node and I have Gala node number two. So you can rename these nodes right here on the dashboard, naming your API key after your Gala node. So whenever you plan to name your node, name your API key after that. And we're going to do the same thing in the Contabo VPS. Name your VPS. That way you'll know which node is connected to which API key on your dashboard. And that way, if you ever experience a problem on either end, you'll know which node and which server that you need to configure. So in this example, I'm going to name my first API key Gala node, and I'm going to name my second API key Gala node two. Now that I have my API keys created, the next step is going to be to go to the download button. Now, when we set up our Contabo VPS, we installed a distribution called Ubuntu and Ubuntu is on the Linux operating system. So we need to select Linux and this setup right here, these installation guides instructions are for 
setting up the Gala node on your Linux computer if you had one in-house. So we're not using an in-house computer. We're using a VPS. So we need to install the headless version of the Gala node software. So down here at the very bottom, there's a button that says install the Gala node software V3 on your Buck 2 Linux. Let's open up this page right here. So the purpose of this step-by-step -step guide to installing a Gala node on your Vault 2 Linux 20.04, running the Gala node software on a stable operating system can help ensure consistent uptime. While there are both Windows and Mac options, Linux is able to run the Gala node software in a more stable and less resource-intensive environment. This guide provides instructions on how to install the Gala node software on Linux as long as an account has a valid node license. So here are some assumptions made. I can answer a few of these for you. What is a VPS? A VPS is a virtual private server. And that is what we created in the beginning of this video from Contabo. This is what we're going to run our Gala nodes on. You sign up for a Gala account. That is very easy to do. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description of this video. If you want to support this channel, use my link to sign up to Gala. If not, just go to gala.com and create an account on the most amazing and creative Web3 platform in the world. All right, create a VPS to run the Gala Node software. We already done that. If you're following along, you've used my link and you've created the Contabo VPS. If not, then you may have found a more affordable VPS. If you did, send me a comment and let me know about it. Gala Node requirements, which we discover in the beginning of this video. And what is a distribution? In this case, the distribution is Ubuntu 20.04. We already have our distribution installed on our VPS. Very simple, very easy. Ubuntu is going to allow us to run a command called sudo, which automatically overrides administrative access, which will allow us, allow us to do anything we need to do in our VPS. So here we are on step number one. It's instructing us to open the terminal for the Ubuntu installation. All right, so first things first, if you're on a Windows computer, go ahead and open your command prompt. If you're on a Mac, you need to open your console or terminal. And if you're on a Linux computer, then you can go ahead and get ready to install the Gala Node software. Before we get started, I want to give a very important disclaimer here. I'm using a Contabo VPS, and when I use a Contabo VPS, I cannot share my IP address. So I'm going to explain to you how to log into your server without sharing my IP address, and I hope I made this easy enough for you to follow along. So if you're using a command prompt, you can follow along. If you're using a terminal, you can follow along by using the command SSH. So first stage you want to type in is SSH and hit the space key and type in root because that is your username by default set by your VPS. And you want to type the at symbol as if you were writing at gmail.com SSH space root at. And right here is where you want to paste your IP address. You don't hit a space after that. You just, you just paste in your IP address. Now. Let's say, for example, my IP address was 123.45.678. This is exactly how my login would look when I press enter, but this is not my IP address. So I will not be entering this, but I'm going to put in my IP address. And the next thing it's going to ask me is for a fingerprint and I'll type Y for yes and press enter. And the next thing after that, it's going to ask you for the password that you created when you made your VPS. So this is going to make it very easy. All you have to do is type in your password and press enter. Now, if you remember from other VPS tutorials, when you paste or type in a password on a VPS, your password is not visible. So make sure you remember that when you're typing it in. If you know your password and you type it incorrectly and you press enter, you'll easily log into your VPS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log into my VPS. Now that I am logged into my VPS, I'm going to run a few commands that will get the VPS up to date. So follow along and run sudo sudo space apt apt dash git space update space dash y. 
just like this. Pseudo space apt git with the dash in the middle, space update space dash y the presenter. All right, look like everything is updated. Now let's run another command, sudo space apt dash git space upgrade space dash y presenter. All right, so there were no upgrades. Everything is up to date and you can check your virtual private server also and make sure you're up to date with everything. So with that said, and with that done, we can skip these two steps right here. We don't really need these. And we can go ahead and install Docker. Unless you have Docker installed already, you want to run the command suit space apt space install space docker dot il space dash y. Or you could copy this command here from beginning to end. Press enter. This is going to install Docker on your virtual private server. All right, now that my Docker installation is complete, I'm going to run the command clear to clear my screen. And then we're going to test to see if Docker has been installed. So simply run the command Docker, press enter. If you get a response like this, then you have Docker installed. If it says Docker is not a command, then you don't have Docker installed. And you need to run that command again, see if you can get it installed. So next thing we're going to do is clear the screen again get all that information out of the way. So now we want to check and see if Docker has been installed. So you can copy this command right here in step number three, or you can actually type in sudo base system control or CTL base status space Docker and press enter. And you can see Docker is active and running. So you don't need to run this next command that enables Docker unless your Docker is not active and running. So to get out of this screen, we need to press the button Q, the letter Q on our keyboard, and it'll back us up out of that screen. So let me go ahead and run the command clear again and get that off of the screen. So the next step is step number four, enter this command below to download the Gala node software for Linux. So instead of typing all of this in, let's go ahead and copy this from beginning to end and make sure you don't get any blank spaces behind this. Copy this and come over here to our VPS and paste it in, press enter. And this is going to download the Gala Node software on your VPS. When we download the Gala Node software, we can see right here that the version that we've downloaded is Gala Node V3.2.5. This is very important for the next step because in the next step, it tells you after downloading, run the command below to extract the Gala Node software. Ensure to update the version number based on what version you downloaded. Please see the highlighted screen below to find the software version number. So in this command here, we need to run sudo tar xzvf gallon node v3. And right here, you're going to put the version number. So let's go ahead and copy this entire command here from beginning to end. Paste it here in our DPS. And we're going to use the back arrow key to get all the way to this bracket here because we want to get rid of this bracket and everything inside of it all the way to the other bracket. And we want it to say V3. And we want to match this right here, this command right here, with this one right here. So this says Gala node V3 point. So I need to put a point two and a point five. And that'll make this exactly like this and make sure this looks exactly like this. As a matter of fact, I'm missing the point one right here. So let me go ahead and make sure I put point one and press enter. And now the Gala node software has been extracted. So this is a very good thing. We're going to move forward to the next step. The next command runs the installation script for the Gala node software. So now we're going to actually install the Gala node software that we just extracted. So go ahead and copy this command here and we'll paste this into our VPS and press enter. Do you accept the end user license agreement? Yes or no. If you don't accept the end user license agreement, type N for no. And if you do type the Y for yes, press enter. All right, so now it tells us that the Gala node installation is complete and everything that we need is running in place the way it needs to be. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen once again so I can get all of that off of the screen. 
The next step is where we're going to input our API key. So remember in the earlier and when I told you to go ahead and create your API key. So this should be very easy for you. Copy this command here, sudo galenu config API key, but stop right here after the Y in key. You don't want to copy your API key here. Just copy this part here, paste that into your VPS. And now you have to press the space button. Because right here, after you press space, after key, you're going to input your API key right here. So I can't share my API key with you. I'm going to go to my Galano dashboard and I'm going to go to API key. And I'm going to copy the API key from my first Galano and paste it here after the space so that I can press enter and install and save my API key. So do that, and then once you do that, it's gonna see it's gonna say API key set successfully, and that's when you know we've done it right. And I just cleared my screen so I won't share my API key, but in this example, it shows you that your command should look just like this. It should say sudo galeno config API key with a space, and then your API key will go right there, and you just press enter. The next command is sudo galen node license. This is going to show you what license are in your account based on the API key that you just stored into your galen node. So let's run this command. Let's type it in sudo space galen dash node space license. Licenses with an S and press enter. And this will show you that I have a player node license in this account that I can attach to this node. If you had multiple nodes, such as a founder's node, a spider takes node, and a townster node, and a film node, and all of your licenses would show up right here. And you can install and run workloads for all of these nodes on one VPS. Make sure you understand that you can't run two workloads that are the same. So I have two player node licenses. I cannot run both of my player nodes called this VPS. But if I had a founders nodes and a film node, I could run all three of them on this one VPS. So make sure you understand that when you move forward, in case you do have multiple node license, you don't want to be spending more money than you need to. The next step is to configure the workload. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to copy this command, sudo galeno config workloads. Copy that and paste it over here to your VPS. Now you want to press space after this. So going back to the step we just explained, these are the available workloads. So if you have a founders node, the title for your founders node workload is founders. And the same thing for the rest of them. If you have a music player node, then the workload title is player. And for film, it's film. So whenever you're configuring your workload, you need to know the title of the license that you have. And that's why they created this command pseudo galano licenses. So you can actually see what licenses are available. So all I have to do here is type in player. Now, for an example, if you did have founders nodes, you would just press space and then type in founders. If you had film node that you wanted to install on this node, you just press space and type in film and press enter. And this is how you're going to set your or configure workloads for your Gala node. But as we all know, I only have the player node here. So I'm going to just type it player and press enter. And as you can see, the response says successfully set workloads. The next step is to actually start the Gala node. Now that we have downloaded the software, we have configured the software or extracted it, and we have set our workloads. Now it is time to start the Gala node. So this is a very simple command that you can type in sudo Gala dash node space start and press enter and down here at the bottom you can see a command that says gala node created so i'm going to go ahead and clear the screen here so we can go ahead and check the status of our gala node now this is a very important command that you can use on the daily or weekly uh, i do recommend that you check on the status of your gala node at least once a week until you get used to knowing that your, your VPS is reliable and that your Gala node is staying online and you're receiving distribution rewards. Use this command to log into your VPS at least once a week and check your Gala node status. Type sudo space Gala dash node space status and press enter. 
And this will let you know that your node is connected to the server. It is a success. Your node is running and it'll tell you what version of that um, workload that you're running. And it'll also tell you that your Gala node is running. So if you do experience a issue where your Gala node is not running and you can do some trial and error when it's trying to update to the latest version, because that will more than likely be the problem. So what you would need to do is come back up here to the Gala node software for Linux and download the software again so that you can get the latest version. And you would basically go from step four on down. And before you do that, you need to go ahead and uninstall the previous version of the Gala node that you have installed. And there's a link right here at the top of this tutorial that will tell you, and that will teach you exactly what you need to do to uninstall the latest version so that you can start at step four and install the newer version. And that is pretty much it. Let's go back to my Gala node dashboard so I could show you that my node has been configured and now it is online. As you can see um, earlier, when we looked at this, I had no nodes online and now I do. And as a full guide on how to get your Gala node up and running on a Contabo VPS, I hope this helps someone. And not to mention, it should help a lot of people because I know a lot of people are using Vulture. And huge shout out to Vulture. It's a project that I support and I still use for running some of my nodes. But for a Gallon node, this is much more affordable and it offers you much more computing resources. So this is better for you and for Gal because you'll be running a more reliable node. So if you like supporting the network, this is a good way to go. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description of this video for you to get to the Contabo VPS that I showed you in the beginning of this video. And it will only cost you $8.49 a month to host that VPS, but there will be some added on prices because of the geolocation, unless you wanted to run your Gala node in European Germany. I'm Critical Complex David. If you enjoyed this content, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next tutorial guide.